everyone, welcome to another WordPress Wednesday. My name is Corey Ashen here at Webtegrity, and we are finishing up our series that we've done for the month of February on CSS. We did total beginner level, what is CSS? And we moved to a couple of basic elements that you can tinker with and kind of figure out how to make some cool changes in your style sheet on your WordPress website. So what we want to do today is really kind of ramp it up a little bit. We're going to go pretty advanced on you here. So I want to show you some things that you can do that are extremely dynamic using just CSS. I'm going to slide myself off the screen for this little portion for a second because I want you to pay attention here. And notice whenever you're viewing a responsive website, when we talk about responsive sites, we're talking about um, websites that ebb and flow or respond rather to any device that's being viewed on. And so when a website gets shrunk down and viewed on a phone screen, you know, about two, let's say two inches or three inches wide, you see that this menu changes to this drop down option and allows the functionality to be really easy for user experience and gets everything kind of in a single column line. Whereas if you're viewing this screen or this website rather on a large desktop screen, let's say this size, um, you know, everything's kind of spread out and you've got a menu that looks like this already visible and everything's kind of stacked down the page in a wider format, right? How, how do we do that? Um, so thankfully, if you're using WordPress, you can probably just go out and find a theme and let the author be the nerd code that makes that functionality happen, right? But what if you want to be a little bit more creative? And let's say that, um, let, let's shrink this down here for a second. Let's say whenever something shrinks down, you don't want this bar right here to be blue uh, when they're viewing it on a cell phone. You want this bar uh, to be orange, this pop of orange that you've got going on or whatever color you want it to be. How do you get into your style sheet to make that change? Um, that area is what we want to talk about today that is manipulated by an area in your style sheet called a media query. So we're going to talk about at rules today, AT dash rules. All right. Uh, if I do a search right here, looking at our style sheet, I do a search for at media. You've probably seen something like this. If you've gone venturing into the wonderful world of CSS, you've probably run across something inside of a style sheet that starts with an at sign, that's an at rule, and this one specifically is at media. There are several different ones you can use, but this specific one talks about, let's read this together and see if I can help you make sense of what this line says. At media, max width, 767 pixels. What that's saying is, at media, or screen is basically what that's representing right now, um, at the max width of 767 pixels, I want you to do this. So at the max width of 767, this is as we start to shrink it down and things go into like an iPad range uh, of, of width is, is what 767 typically is. An iPad, possibly a horizontaling iPad or a smaller pad even vertically positioned. Max width 767 pixels. I want you to implement these instructions now. Use this to overwrite a certain area that I may have coded it differently. You want your spacing to look different on a cell phone, right? You, you want things to be, um, you know, either have less room or more room on a cell phone so that you can allow things to uh, be a great user experience. This is how you do it. There's also a really cool thing you can do, something like this. I'm going to move myself out of the way again because I really want you to take a look at this website. This is Parent 410. It's an animal hospital here in town that we were blessed to uh, code and, and build this custom WordPress theme for. What I want you to notice is when whenever somebody is on a cell phone, their website doesn't look like this. And it was all done using that at media query. What we wanted to do was remove this big slideshow because we, we, we didn't want somebody struggling through a slideshow on a cell phone. There's no reason for that. More than likely, they're looking for uh, a map or a phone number. So when you shrink this down, check this out. The slideshow completely deletes, or actually it hides, uh, with, with um, uh, a, uh, a media query. It hides it. And then what first pops up on the screen right away is your menu. There's your menu drop down, and you've got your phone number that is completely clickable, and you've got this map happening here for their location. 
that's nowhere to be found on the first fold whenever you're viewing it in a desktop mode. It's not until you get all the way down here that you find their map and their phone number. So those are the really cool things you can do with media queries. You can do a display none to hide something, or if you're on a big screen, you can say display none until you shrink down and then actually tell it to display. All sorts of really cool stuff like that that you can do using the at rule for at media. So over here on W3Schools, you know that if I've, uh, you're following me in videos, I, I reference this website a lot. Um, you see here that it's at media screen and max width is 300 pixels. That's super tiny. That's for the cell phone viewing area. They want to change the entire body color to being a light blue. That's kind of what they're using it for. And as you scroll down, you're going to see what this is, um, what browsers support this at rule. And you can see a bunch of different options that you can do. You can do an at media for printing. And so if you want somebody to not print out, if, if they're coming to print like your blog article and you don't want them to waste their printer ink on your navigation bar or uh, if you've got a lot, uh, maybe an area on your sidebar that has a whole lot of color in it and you don't want them to waste that ink. You can hide that and as soon as they click print, because of your style sheet saying in there in the print mode, hide that area, it won't print. It's all about user experience when it comes to using these advanced techniques with uh, CSS. So there's all sorts of crazy elements here you can play around with. Um, you see here they give you another example. At media, only screen, max width 500 pixels. We want you to do this. We want the menu to go full width. Um, and, and kind of down the line what it's saying they want their options to be whenever the screen is that tiny. So I'm going to give you this link to the CSS uh, 3, the, the schools link here. I'm also going to give you this really cool um, tutorial area that I found that talks a little bit more about another at rule called at import, where you can actually import another style sheet if you wanted to. So really cool options here. Again, these are pretty advanced. Um, and this is an advanced tutorial that I'm doing for you today, but for those of you that may have been bored or just learning and really starting, things are starting to click, I want you to go to the next level here. And this is the advanced way of using CSS. You can even do animation with CSS. Super, super cool options there. You could turn a picture from being square to a circle just using CSS. All sorts of fun things that you can do if you really dive into the wonderful world of learning CSS. I want to thank our amazing sponsors. Y'all know about them, WP Engine, they're who we host with, and we always brag on these guys, incredible WordPress hosting. We've also been blessed to be a part of WP 101. If you don't know about their library of videos for WordPress, you need to go right now today. Go to WP 101, they've got some free videos there, and they've got an area for you to sign up at a great affordable price to watch their how-to videos for learning WordPress, even in an advanced type setting. And then we've also got a great new resource for you and sponsor for our classes, WP Elevation. If you want to become an exceptional WordPress consultant, this guy, Troy, is just amazing. They've got several guys on their team, um, just fantastic. They're out of, they're out of Australia. Um, really, really impressed. If you come to their website and just watch this very first video, just check this guy out, watch the very first video, video. you're going to be hooked just like I was on their incredible service. So thank you so much. If you're in the San Antonio area, catch us tonight at WordPress Wednesday. We're going to be hanging out going over these videos. If you're not in the San Antonio area, please look into meetup.com for a local WordPress meetup in, in your area that you can go and network and get help and support. And maybe you can even give back and be a, a resource for those people in your community. Thanks so much for being with us on WordPress Wednesday. I'll see y'all next week. Bye-bye, y'all.